is up YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Kayla and welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel. Today we are in Barbados. We're at like this cute little hotel resort and I'm at the hotel gym right now. It's super cute. Today's video is going to be another mic'd up gym vlog and today we're hitting posterior. I've actually never really ever done a posterior day. So I'm going to be hitting back, glutes, hamstrings, and calves. So the entire back of my body, the posterior of it. So I just actually did two sets of some pull-ups. Most humbling exercise ever. I did five reps for my first set and barely did three for my second set, but it's fine. We're moving on to my next back movement, which is gonna be some Smith machine bent over rows. And yeah, let's just get into it. This gym is honestly super nice, very spacious and very quiet, which is what I need today after kind of a weird day that I've had. So I'm in my first working set. This, I actually like really like this Smith machine. Obviously like all Smith machines are a little bit different. This one is slanted and it, it just feels like new. It feels nice. Do bent over rows, keep your thumbs here. at the Wyndham for people who care. I hope you do care. We are at the Wyndham Slumlords Castle in Barbados. We actually just moved from a different hotel. It's advertised as a four-star hotel and I'm not trying to be like a snob or whatever, but that's what it's advertised as. It's not. Very blessed to be here and I've been eating good. Let me tell you, I've been eating very well. Exercise kind of has taken like a backseat since I've been on vacation. I went to the gym once while I was at the other hotel. This is like my first actual sesh. I'm really excited to just like get into it, get back to it. While you're on vacation, you should indulge, you should not worry too much, you know, you're supposed to relax, you're supposed to like enjoy yourself. And I have, but I just love like my routine, I love working out and just feeling good after. And so obviously like I still have goals, still have goals that are gonna be waiting for me when I'm at home. So I don't wanna like get too far away from them, you know? And with that being said, let's go into the next set. <laughs> Can you guess what we have next? The answer is hip thrust. Good old fashioned. Well, I think I'm gonna do calves bridges on these, but you know what I mean. Not. Let's put some weight. Start with a 25 for now. It's baby weight, I know. But I really feel like I haven't worked out in like two weeks, even though it's only been, last time I full on hit legs, actually it was a week ago, but I can, I can do more than 25, but we're just starting with it for now. Let's call it a warm-up set, okay? Oh, I feel like I put the bench in the wrong place. Let me think. I really enjoy Smith Machine hip thrusts, but the way the Smith Machines are like set up and placed in my gym, let me do them on there, I don't know. It's like, there's no bench that you can bring in the leg room. And then the other Smith machine is the one that stops right here, which I don't understand the point of those Smith machines, but. <clears throat> the bench is slight too far away. I feel like half the work of hip thrust is just setting up the machine. It's good. Do y'all like my shirt? Be honest. Cause it's actually not a gym shirt. It's from H&M and it's super cute. It's like ruched, wrenched. It's right here. It's like scrunched up a little. I really like it and it matches my dark sport outfit. So I was like, <laughs> why not? All right, we're doing calves bridges. So it's more limited range of motion as compared to a hip thrust, but you already know the deal. <sighs> 
Honestly, the Smith Machine is that girl. I love her. Period. I'm gonna do one more set of these and then move on. I'm gonna do glute focus. Lately I've been switching it up a little. I've been doing beast dance, stiff leg. I can't remember the last time I did sumo deadlifts, probably over a year ago. It was actually some of my favorite exercise, but I just took them out and I kind of like never look back. But we're just gonna do regular glute focus. Okay, I I'm also gonna do stiff leg. focus super stiff leg deadlifts so let's try that again oh, feeling good feeling good the pumps going i will tell you one thing with all this eating I'm feeling pumped up but i am trying to be like a lean bean green fighting machine so as soon as the vacay is over we're back to the clean eating Next up, we got good old fashioned leg curls. This hotel just opened up in October and it seems like everything here is new. Like this machine seems like it's barely been used. All this machine seems like it's barely been used. I feel like a kid at a playground with all like the nice equipment. Hmm, this is as far up as it goes. Looks like it. Yeah, that's crazy. That's okay. Ooh, it's still like a nice contraction right there. <sighs> okay, spoke too soon. is awesome i thought because like it barely went at usually the machines have like this pad all the way up here but this one is really nice i spoke too soon feeling a good stretch i'm gonna superset it with some standing good morning and just rep out a few good mornings <laughs> So I was gonna hit hands, a little bit of glutes, and back. Great posterior movement. So let's do that superset two more times. 
uh, it's like workouts like these where I just feel so good and grateful and blessed because I, sometimes I take out, I mean, not often, but sometimes you can take the gym for granted, take working out for granted. And it's not like I haven't had access to the gym. I've had access to the gym the whole time, but I just haven't had like a good sesh. And just like moving your body, getting exercise and getting movement is such a blessing. And workouts like this, so I just feel good. Like I feel so happy to be here and I'm fueled by all the cake that I just ate. It's like just so awesome. It's not like the fanciest gym I've ever been to, but just getting to move, getting to exercise, like sometimes I'm like, do I love really work, love working out that much? And then like, yeah, of course I do. Of course, like who wouldn't? Who wouldn't love getting your heart rate up, feeling healthy, being healthy? Just a little gratitude, blessing. Also, happy July, new month, new opportunity, new everything. I hope you achieve all your goals and I hope you subscribe to my YouTube. Let's go. Yeah, the movement low-key looks ridiculous sometimes, but I do like it. I think it's an underrated exercise. There are obviously like better ones, but pairing it with like a leg curl or an RDL even, good stuff. All right, lovelies, last but not least, we have calves. We're doing calf press because there's not like a, there's no box or like elevated surface I could do calf raises on, but this is fine. You should do triceps. I'm not gonna do triceps. What I will do is a superset of calves. So I'm just gonna do some standing ones right here. You gotta work with what you got. No hands. Girl, the way you moving. Got me in a trance. DJ, jerk me up. Ladies, it's your dance. It's definitely harder with no hands. Waka Flocka wasn't lying. Two more sets, then we're outie. beautiful people that is the end of the vlog what do we think of the posterior day 
I look he kind of enjoyed it. It's basically like my gluten hammy day, but just like a sprinkle of back. I'm probably still sick with the gluten hammy day, but it's always nice to switch it up, you know? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know what your workout split is or if there's a workout day that you want to try next. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.